you the monthly club couture Bleh. hi i'm jenny b and this is gypsy bees where we add just a little sweetness to your home and to your heart today's project is to remove last month's club couture design from our monthly board each month i use this great big board um, to show you the project. I'm putting it on this board, showing you how you can use one surface over and over every time. Um, so I'm using this one. It'll always be in the backdrop. You'll see it. So today's project is we're going to wash it off and then we're going to put onto it this month's um, Club Couture project. So let's get started. All right, so I have um, just water in a mister bottle is one way, I've got a couple of ways. I could carry this board to my kitchen sink, I could wash it off there. But since I was gonna do this live on the video, I thought, well, I'll just do it here with you guys um, and we'll go from there. So I've been practicing some colors because I wanted to see what's gonna work on this month's Club Couture project. If you haven't seen it yet, this is it. Um, let's get lost, which I don't know about you, but I'm pretty much ready to get lost. I'm ready for some type of um, adventurous vacation where COVID doesn't live. But anyway, this is a really great transfer this month. And so let's get started. We're going to wet this. Now, I did this last month, so it's been all month long sitting here. Uh, we're going to get it wet so we can just clean it up. You can use, let me show you, Chocotour has some round little sponges. You get two to a package. I'm sorry I didn't have that out here that you can use to clean with. You clean your transfers with them. You can also use it to clean up the paint on here. Um, this one's gonna be a lot more than just cleaning with this little scrubber, but I'm showing you that it does clean and is gonna work. We're gonna get it wet. We're letting it sit because this was a lot of thick chalk paint from last month's transfer that said nothing can dim the lights that shine within you. So see, I'm kind of getting it loosened up um with the water because it's been sitting all month i can get this that i easily um, did it with okay so using this is a way we can sit here and clean it up i'm getting all of the paint out off of it it's a little bit more work because it's been sitting all month and it's sitting here dried and it looks like the pink is coming up a lot better um, then the blue is wanting to do. So let me get a little more water on here. Soften that up a little. There's also a new scraper tool that um, is available now to kind of help you loosen that up and get it moving. So I'm going to use it because I used a lot of paste on this transfer last month. which tells you that this isn't gonna come off easy. If you use this chalk on a surface and you're thinking, well, I don't really wanna wash it off. I wanna wait a while. I might wanna keep it on for several months. You can see that that's gonna really be possible um, to do. All right, I'm trying to get it all kind of loosened up. Now, another way to clean that surface is to use some baby wipes or um, Clorox wipes. I'm just not a Clorox fan, so it's very unlikely you're gonna see me using Clorox wipes. Um, I do use them when I have a transfer that is really dirty and it isn't sticking anymore. I will use a Clorox wipe occasionally, but for this project, I don't want to use um, a Clorox wipe. So let me get this a little more wet. Like I said, I knew this was gonna take a little longer because this has got a lot of heavy on here and this is not a chalk couture surface. The chalk couture surfaces themselves would come clean a lot faster um, and better than this one is doing. This is just a chalkboard surface I picked up at a thrift store so that I could show you um, how to use your chalk couture transfers on other surfaces. All right, so we're just about got it all cleaned off to where we can do the next one. I got just a couple of spots here. I see that the paint hasn't, hasn't come completely done. 
All right, so there you go. We have it all cleaned up. I'm gonna put this good baby wipe. I'm listening to the FedEx ground truck. Um, it's not coming to my house today. I have not bought anything today. All right, so there we go. That is cleaned up now. I'm gonna take another towel that I just wanna dry the towel because I don't want to put my transfer down and it to be wet um, because I don't want my paint to, to seep through. So I'm making sure I get all the little dust particles and all that off. All right, so now we're ready to put on this month's uh, Chalk Club Couture transfer. Now the Club Couture program is $19.99 a month. You get a transfer and you get three pastes in an envelope that come with it. I don't get those as a designer, but you as a Club Couture member will get those. You also get um, some great deals from Chalk Couture directly, some promos. There's um, a Kickstart kit that you can purchase specifically for Club Couture members. They have other products, uh, promos they do throughout the year for Club Couture members only. If you're a Club Couture member for me, you are going to be in my special VIP group um, where I'm going to show you throughout the month some different ways of using this monthly transfer. And on the 15th of every month, you can contact me and place an order for 30% off of everything in the catalog. Now, so that you remember that, I'm gonna show you what's always on the back of my board up here. This is the member benefits, and I'll put a post up again later in the Facebook group explaining that to you. So this one is the Club Couture program. This is the transfer for the month of July, and we are going to get ready to put that transfer on this monthly board. Now, I'm gonna use, um, these are not the colors that came specifically in your packet when you get this. I wanted some different colors. So I'm gonna use gray for the outline of the actual globe. And then I'm going to do a mix of these two colors on there, kind of like in a map. I'm not good at making it look exactly like a world map, but I'm gonna do a little bit of the blue with a little bit of green in it. We're gonna see how that works out to make it look like it's kind of a globe background. You can do it on a lot of other surfaces. You can make a really cool t-shirt. This would make a really great t-shirt. I might do one of those. Um, I also saw something I'm gonna try later, but I've gotta get all the supplies together. So if you're in my VIP group, you will see the videos where I do a t-shirt. Maybe I do um, a towel for the bathroom, um, some other things. I've got a, a design idea to do with a frame and a map. So I'm going to, right now what I'm doing, oops, I've got this on the wrong side of my, my transfer. Okay, so right now I've got my um, towel out that we're gonna do just a little defuzzing. Because these are so sticky, Sometimes they stick too much and you can't get them off the surface. So in the beginning, you just want to put them on a towel. This is a Chalk Couture um, towel. You can buy this it, on my website. And I'm just going to rub it a little bit. And it's just going to defuzz the transfer a little so it's just not so sticky. Now these transfers can be used up to probably 8 to 10 times before they lose their stickiness. A lot of times cleaning them with a Clorox wipe will bring back some of that sticky to the back of them um, and they are still usable after that you can use a stencil spray um i don't know what i got there okay it looked like a piece of fuzz and it probably was off that towel i need to throw that towel um, i think in the wash all right so now i'm going to use this same little scraper thing i'm just going to make sure everything is i actually don't like that let me get a squeegee. Okay, so I have a small squeegee. I'm going to use the hard level side on the back, and I'm just going to kind of go through it. I want to be sure, like right here, there's something that got on the transfer. It looks like a piece of thread, and it made like a bubbly spot when I started making sure it was all down good. But you want to make sure your transfer is adhered to your um, surface, you want to be sure that it doesn't have any bubbles or wrinkles so that it, um, your paste goes on. This one's got a lot of open area in it back in here, so it's going to take a lot more paste. So you want to be sure that you have it sealed down good, but that you also um, are ready to, to spread your stuff pretty fast. Now, I'm going to start 
with the gray. My gray is fairly new, so I know it's not the consistency that I need it to be. Our chalk pastes are water-based. That way they don't dry out. Um, when they do get kind of dry, you just add a little water, stir them up until they're a sour cream consistency. Now I'm using our little multi-tool. What I like about the multi-tool, let me just pull it out and show it to you real quick. It's flat on one end and has a little curved edge on the other. I can dig down in this jar with that curved edge. But today I'm just gonna use, cause it's not super, super dry. So I'm not having to do a lot, a lot of work to get it um, to the consistency I want it. I want it just a little bit thinner, but not much. So I'm just gonna dab in just a little bit of water. Stir again until it's that sour cream consistency that I want. All right, now because what I'm gonna do is a smaller edge around here, I'm gonna use this tool um, just so, one, because I've got paste already on it, and one, because it is narrow and it will help me stay um, inside the lines of this little narrow edge. So right now I'm able to put my paste on here and I'm just, dragging it um, through the holes. There we go. I know I've got more paste on here. And because the paste is as nice as it is, I can go back and scoop up the extra and move it along my transfer like this. And I'm gonna put my glasses on because seeing makes life a lot easier. All right. So now I'm getting, making sure I've got all the holes filled in here get just a little bit more paste in here and come along there and I am picking up all the excess because I can wipe the excess back into my container like so all right and then I want to do this part so what I'm going to do right now because I still have some on my tool but my tool is small and it'll make it take way too long to use this tool on this larger area I'm just gonna scrape it off of there a little more. All right. And I can just fill it up and then scrape back what I don't use. That's what's nice about it is that you're not wasting um, a bunch of paint. Like when you go to paint something, you have to pour paint onto a paint tray and then you end up wasting a lot of that. All right, so I'm gonna wipe this down and get all that little extra off here that I can. Save what I can. I've got a pan of water sitting over here, so I'm putting my tools in that water. I'll close up the gray. Now what I'm gonna do, ooh, the blue looks like it's gonna need a little water, so we're gonna add some water to the blue. I think I've got another multi-tool over here. I could go get this other one also out of the water. Oh yeah, see this one's a little drier, so I'm gonna have to do just a little more work, especially because I'm gonna be covering a big area with the blue. So if you give me just a minute here, we're gonna get it. But this is nice because I don't have to worry about opening my containers and my paste is dried up. Makes it a whole lot nicer to be able to do. Um, here we go, yeah. A little more in here, more water in there. See, we're starting now to get that sour cream consistency that we need. I'm gonna stir, stir, stir. Get that water all distributed into there well. I'm gonna scrape off as much as I can on here because the blue is not going to um, work well if I use this on here because it's too big of a surface. All right, the other thing I'm gonna go ahead and do well, here you guys, I'm just gonna move this water over a little bit so I can clean this tool off. And I don't think I have a third one sitting here, but I need to use it. And I've got a towel right here on the floor. All right, we're gonna clean that up. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure the green is ready to go as well. So my green is not too bad. I don't think we're gonna have to do much stirring to it. This is a meadow green. So this is, in my mind, a little more Christmassy colored green. I think I used it a lot at Christmas. I'm gonna to have to look at getting some because I think I'm getting to the bottom of my container with the holiday season coming. I'm definitely fall and Christmas. I'm definitely gonna to need to be sure that I have plenty of green. I do need to clean the edges of the container, but for today, I'm not gonna to do that. All right, and I'm gonna do my best as well to 
clean my little tool up because I'm not gonna use the green off of this either. And I'm gonna go ahead and throw it in the pan of water. I'm doing that just so they don't dry out and I have to scrape them off. Um, it'll still wash off even when it dries because the chalk paste is water soluble. All right, so let's get started putting on the background. Now the dark, the green part is what you're not going to color. It's going to be black when we take the transfer up. So I wanna be sure that I get all of the little holes covered in here. I'm gonna get a little more paste on here. Sometimes it helps to to just go in and lay some on top of it, and that way you can just work around it. I do have some larger tools I could be working with. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and do predominantly all of it with the blue, like this. We're just gonna make sure we get all of our holes covered, so I'm gonna go around my edge here. All right. So I have this idea of getting a round, thin uh, bosswood circle and doing the globe itself, painting the globe, occur, uh, the, the bosswood circle a certain color, and then doing um, another frame below it with the arm and the base and being able to set that on top of it and make it kind of um, 3D looking. So I had that idea, but I don't have all of the supplies together today to do that. But when I looked at this, that came to mind. So I am going um, to find those circles. Another idea that I had thought might look really good is to take a, a frame, the glass, and do this transfer on the glass itself and put a map um, maybe behind it in the frame. All right, so we've put the blue on. I'm gonna get a little green and I'm gonna come in here and just kind of fade in some green in this. Um, like I said, I'm not gonna be very good at figuring out really where to put a land mass, but I'm not doing it to really be, um, what's the word? Not really doing it to be accurate to my land mass. So let's just see what we get. I am gonna take my finger a little bit and just kind of smooth in the green and the blue a little so that it's not too stark green when we pull that transfer up. Now we're not gonna see very much green, okay? It's not gonna be, we can make it a little bit more. I could use my finger even and kind of smooth in a little more green if I want to. Um, come back because I feel like I got a little too much green. So let's put a little blue in with this somewhere and kind of fade these in a little bit and just kind of see. Now I have paint on my fingers. Thank goodness I have water. Actually, where'd that wipe go? See, I've got that wipe. All right, so are we ready for the reveal? Let's pull up our transfer and see what we have created. Now I know it's gonna be upside down for you, so if we can get this off and get it done, I will turn it around where you can see it. All right, oh my gosh, I'm super impressed. I'm gonna put this transfer in water quickly because I don't want the paint to dry in those little holes. And I just keep a tub of water sitting beside me so I can wash it. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. I can't wait to turn around for you guys to see it. Let me, uh, I'm putting the lids on the paint because one, I'm notorious for spilling and two, I don't want them to dry out. All right, so let me see if I can get this turned around where you can see it. Oops. I got a little bit of water right there. Somehow I dripped. Okay, here we go. What do you think? Doesn't that look awesome? All right, all right. This is just one way to use the transfer. If you're a member of the Chalk Couture Club, you're gonna wanna be a member of that club so you can see what else we can do with this transfer. Thank you for joining me.